So dancing, DJ Taylor, Drago in the house, DJ Drago. Welcome back to CD Games Persona 4. Dance all night. Pink is the dance, yell is the story mode. And the uh, silver one? It's just something saying what's going on. The extra thing going on between. Oh, cool, it shows you different characters and dances. Yeah. Anyways, we're continuing on. When obviously, of course, the good old Hume-Con, Yosuke, she and Yukiko have obviously been very, very lucky rescuing Taname so far. But, um, with any luck from it, this room that's safe for the studio thing to stay in for now, because they're going to have tiresome. They can't withstand the power there in the midnight stage of the area, like the TV world, but different. Um, yeah. Ojimizu is all right there to be there. Obviously, the manager to do what she can. Hopefully, Rise, uh, Kanji, Teddy, and Nato are doing good in there, and hopefully, we'll see them soon. Anyway, to throw the stories we left behind. I don't know what the name of this third team resolve. Third team leader, popping star, press percent of shadows, finding Taname, Yukiko Blossom's Taname's disappearance, Circus Sailor, Dancing Dragon, and Christmas. Dedicates. Training a new day. So, what if I'm lame, to be honest? And the leader city, we're going back to it. Let's continue on with the story. Free audio games in from the Nintendo Direct of the Summer Game Set Fall. That's been going on. Oh, I'm running. Poot. As long as, as, as we run through the empty urban expanse, Kiko suddenly calls out, pointing ahead of us. What? What, what is it? Still in the bar when I thought it was there. Time. But where? Where? Hey! Whoa, that's definitely her! That's the next Those one. Those wistful eyes. That alluring look. That flowing hair. That's Kanamine Kitchen's leader. Tomomine, the soft lamb. Ah! The lambs are very cute when they're baby ones. Goats, too. Totomi! Oh, that's right. Totomi is next to rescue. They rescue, too. Like... Kind of me, and now it's on me. Oh yeah, the leader of the group? Ah! Ah, I love animals. Okay, well, yes, she's next. Wow! I mean, wow! Holy crap, this is a dream come true! Oh, yes, okay. Well, here we go. When it comes to this stuff, you can't shut him up. What's wrong with you, Tommy? You don't look happy. I know you're scared right now, it's understandable. But stay with us with the eerie voice or shadows of the... Oh, sound will get to you, okay? That's definitely Toname son. But still, if recognizing her before me, even though I'm the one who's who's met her, Yosuke is amazed. As we talk among ourselves, Toname san, ho notice us, votes towards us before we can call to her. Smart move. You you were with Risei san, Yukun, right? Tomoe san. I'm glad to see you're safe. Are you hurt? Doesn't look like I, that. I'm fine, but I couldn't find anyone else. There, there, you're gonna be okay. I don't know what to do. I, I'm so worried. Sumomo, Tamami, Nozomi. Oh, I hope they're okay. Tamami san looks really shaken up. The composer she had on our first meeting is long gone. To calm her down, I decided to explain everything calmly and steadily for her. It's probably a good idea. We just rescued Tamami son. She's with Miss Ochimisu now. Tamani, sorry. It's Tamami. I said Tamami. Tamani is gonna be okay. The others are on their way to save Sumomo san and Nozomi san. Yeah, leave the other groups of the investigation team of Sumomo, Sumomo and Nozomi be safe. Oh, really? Really, really? Oh, thank heaven. I was afraid something might have happened to them. <gasps> Where's Tamami? I need to see her. She must be feeling terrible right now. Whoa, um. T Tomo mean, calm down. You're not really uh acting like yourself. Easy does it, please. Don't want to make yourself look. Oh, oh my off. God! I'm sorry. I can't believe. Th I'm. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Oh no no no! It's it's fine. I was just surprised. I never yeah. really imagined Tomo mean losing her cool. You know. Uh-oh. It's not the you that everyone wants. That's not good. Oh, Ash, Ash Ashley Brooch. She voices Reese Kuji 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 Kawa in this version. 
Okay, sorry about that. Oh, the other voice actors are wondering who voices the girls. Rachel Kemesey voices no Nomi. You already know who voices Taname. And Susumomo and Mole. Oh, Kimberly Brooks, Kyoka Uchimizu. That's who I heard the voice of. Okay. Huh. You know, I figured it out. Nice. The other girl's friend is this other uh, girl's of here. Okay, anyways. The air around us suddenly goes cold. Echoes around us. Hey! Turn off the AC! This is the place for having it all unless you're on a summery day! This time, it's definitely targeting to Mone san. I get I get ready to move quickly in case in case anything happens. You again? We won't let our guard down this time! No. Let's go to Mone. Your greatest performance is about to begin. So what's the liquor cabinet of this area of a bar thing up to a total? Stop it! Can't you see she doesn't wanna? No. Of course she does. This is all for her sake, after all. Fight me! Right to my... No! I'm not going! I don't want to perform here. It's okay, Tomoe. I know you're just saying that. You will come with me. No. It's what everybody wants. See? Stage again, and the door is opening. Again, ah, yeah, it's never gonna end. Solve this case, right? Right? Ah, it's clear enough. Everyone is referring to the shadows around us. It's trying to push, push its will onto Tomori-san, whether she wants it or not. Look, the shadows here are connected by those ribbons too. The spider has come back. Come on, Tomori. You're the leader. It's your job to live up to everyone's expectations, isn't it? Are you going to turn your back on them and run away? No. The, the leader. That's not your job. Don't listen to it, Tomoe san. Being a leader doesn't mean you have to appease everyone. Exactly. Oh, you, you're right. After all that stuff with Tamamine, we can't let our guard down. Yeah, Tamamine was one thing as well. You're like the common leader type, and you're losing your cool. I can't blame you, but we're right behind you, and we gotta get you out of this mess first. I'll protect Tomomine with my life. Yes, Kay. Yeah, but first we need to do something about these shadows. Who's next? She was right. Even if we can take Tomomine's son to a safe place, like the dressing room to Tanami sons in, we need to take care of this first. She's awesome. So now, the only question is who's going to do the dancing? Who's next? Don't worry, I'll handle this. Yukiko! Time to dance. Yukiko! I kind of understand tomoe sans feelings. When everyone has high hopes for you, you want to make them happy, but your feelings are all mixed up. Yeah. You don't want to disappoint anybody, so you no. struggle. It's always on your mind. You don't know what to do. It hurts. Yukiko. But you can only be you. Nothing good comes from lying to yourself. No. Nope. I understand now that telling others who you are and being understood makes life so much better. <laughs> so you think you understand? I'm afraid you don't understand anything. You don't understand your face, then. No one likes a thought that only brings you pain. Connect with me, and it will all be so clear. No. <sighs> This song again. Well, huh? Uh, you really should try and dance. 
dance well, Yukiko Senpai. Yeah. Here I go. Start the music. All right, Yukiko, your turn to shine again. Okay, here we go. It's hey, starting. anyone want to dance back right. with him? Huh? Time to focus. All right, let's tackle this head on. Oh, this sounds good. Thank goodness. It looks like they understood me. Yeah, pretty much. Dancing is hard, but you really can reach out to people if you put your heart into it. Exactly. You can go free steeply and walked back to our side. Just excited, elegant, and somehow defended. It was a beautiful dance that embodied Yukiko herself. That was excellent, Yukiko. Way to go, Yukiko! You were gorgeous! And Gia, you were a good background dancer for her. Oh, man! That reminded me of the first time I tried asking you out on a date. Huh? You did? When was that? Oh boy. Oh, never mind. Forget it. 
I already learned not to expect anything. Not again. Come on. So, you've poisoned them as well. That's not how it really is. And you know that, don't you? Chaining shadows down here isn't going to help anyone. Hell no. Yeah, if you want to bond that bad, go out into the real world. Yeah, that happens. It might be tough. You might feel a lot of pain, but you gotta find someone who will hear you out and show them the real you. Uh-huh. <laughs> you kids really are interesting, but you don't get it, do they, Tamari? The more you act as yourself, the farther you push people away. You know that better than anyone. Have you ever been loved, even once, for who you truly are? My, I'll follow the boy. You only get hurt and betrayed. Isn't that right, Tumori? I... I'm... Tumori steps back and shakes her head in both denial and terror at the voice's implication. Huh? Tumori's son looks more frightened than I expected. Which means, just like with Tamani-san, the voice is deliberately going through her dark, deepest insecurities that we don't know. Do you really want that? You're the leader. If nobody loves you, how can you protect anyone? Uh, that's her fear. No. This is just like what happened with Tamamine. You! Do something, you can Do something! On it! Feeling something bad is coming. Both Yosuke and I rushed to Tomoe-san. If this is just like earlier, then the instant Tomoe-san gives it into that voice. No! Oh no! <laughs> ah! Ribbons from all directions knock Yosuke and me away. We both hit the ground. The ribbons coil around Tomoe-san and pull her down the path. So powerful, I brace myself for the impact. But I still couldn't resist it. <laughs> what did I tell you? Tomoe isn't going with you. Did you force her to go in the other direction? <laughs> crap, 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 crap. Damn it. We couldn't stop it. We can't give up for Tomoe san's sake. We'll keep trying until we save her. Come on. We've got to move. Yes, let's go. If we hurry, we can still catch up. Come on. A nightclub of a bar. Huh. After traveling down the path to Monisong was taken, we encountered an unbelievable sight. The floor covered in bright neon shells lined with liquor bottles, gaudy and chinsy decorations here and there. Oh my god. We're in a cargo bar! Is that a fire? Eh, this is... What is this place? It feels like somewhere shady you'd go to drink at night. Although, not that I've been to one, but this looks kind of retro. A little too much detail. Look, there's Tomoe Chan! Tomoe! At Chie's examination, we all follow her gaze. Hang in there, Tomoe! In the middle of the stage, surrounded by neon and all kinds of strange objects, Tomoe Sun stands. Looking up and yelling something. No! I'm not doing it because I want to! <laughs> True. You aren't the sexy type at all. In fact, you're so shy, you've never gone out with a boy. And that hobby of yours. <laughs> No one needs that, you know. Uh, if people are disappointed, their hearts will abandon you. Poor girls, left behind by their own leader. I... I... Sumomo... Nozomi... Tamami... Kanami... Tamoe-san! Tamoe-chan! Tamoe! Noticing us, Tamoe-san tries to run towards us. But the voice speaks again, it... As if to cut her off, and Tomoe san freezes in her tracks. Forget who you really are, Tomoe. 
sexier than anyone, dominant over everyone, the mature leader. That's the you everyone wants. Here, listen to what everyone has to say. There comes another fact about her. I love how she seems so seductive, in control. What? Like, they're supposed to be edible idols, but it feels like she's the one doing the eating. That better than you attitude gives me chills. I love that sultry look, like she knows exactly what you want. These voices again! The thing of her just being all sex seduction thing like the succubus. Even though it's not true, she's trying to prove herself and she's afraid to show what it really is. She just don't have a word of making me the leader. That's just wrong. Without Tomomine, there's no sex appeal. I don't feel like supporting them without a little incentive. Really? I have to admit, it's the sexy ones I get the hots for. And that's Tomomine all over. I... I... Ah! See, Tomoe? Everybody wants the sexy, confident you, who has men wrapped around her little finger. She doesn't want that much attention. Now, just accept it. There's no place for the real you. This isn't good. I tried calling out to Tamale Sun, but it's too late. Tamale Sun's lips quivering in fear up until now, curved into a crooked smile. That's right. This is. All I have. Oh no. No, Tomomine! Tomoe san! Uh, again. Wrapped in ribbons, Tomoe san only laughs sadly and black mist starts covering her body. This is just like Tomane son. No, even stronger, the nauseous presence in Waffles. The area and then Ma Mazuma covering Tomoe san begins to taking shape. Everybody is happy this way. The real me is worthless. Not again. Why does it have to end up like this? Keep your guard up. It's coming. Uh, crap. Whoa. So hot. That's right. I am the butterfly, the queen of the night. The thing make her out of that boob job. It's useless trying to show the real me anyway. No one would ever understand. Come here, babe. Connect with me and feel the heat. Leave it all to me, and I'll show you the time of your life. No, thank you. <laughs> Don't you prefer pleasure over pain? Why go through the pain of expressing yourself? You get nothing out of it! That's not true. Ignoring the cheering of the shouts suddenly filling the stance, I stand to face tomone -san. My gaze meeting the two clip cold, glowing eyes behind the giant butterfly mask and yell out at the monster. <coughs> Don't hide yourself! That's not true. tomoe -san. You're just hiding behind someone else's desires. Exactly. Yukon is right. Maybe nobody has understood you yet, but you can't give up that easily. No. Watch me, tomoe san I'll show you what it means to express yourself. Yeah. All right. Get him, you. You can You can do it. Rise, can you hear me? I need my song. And hopefully one of three will be us back on the answer, too. Loud and clear, senpai. OK, here comes the beat. Let's do this. Play the music. Do it, Rise. And thanks. Let's save you, Tomone! Showtime! Don't give up, Tomoe-san! No worries about you, Yukon! Well, this sounds good! Alright! Perfect! Yeah! That went well! Alright. That went well. 
Well, all right, I'm ready whenever. Yeah. Yukiko. Fire up, baby, fire up. You really went all out. <laughs> I was just there to make you look good. Yeah. Little dance, baby. Little dance. Perfect. Feel the of the butterfly tactics coming up with a quick that went play well. four or five. She's okay. We say to their group it's is done. Mr. Burns! Tomoe-san! Tomoe-chan! What have I done? I denied myself and, and and everyone saw that. Tomoe, look. People should look at you if you seduce sex. Way you are. You're not getting any sign of attention from guy seduction and such. Never. You're just trying to be a leader to prove yourself that you're still a free woman. Don't ever be afraid to show up. You don't have to expose yourself for anything. If you're ready to find true love, you can find it. It's okay. It can be scary out there to find your real self. You're not doing it entirely. That's not what you think. Here before you think you go through. Still be the leader of the group. You're kind-hearted. I heard people like you better than nice. As most people should be 
attracted to more about you. It's okay. Yeah, it will be okay. Everything. The good parts and the embarrassing parts. Uh -huh. It's all part of you, tomoe san I always get embarrassed and worry a lot of times, but you know what? When I want to do something I like doing the most and get back to the other stuff that won't be a rush at all, I get to it. We're the same. Yeah. And I'm sure there are people out there who will accept you as you are, tomoe san Yeah. When I was a student, I, I told a friend about my hobby. She laughed so hard. I got scared, couldn't face her. And before I knew it, we weren't friends anymore. Huh? Wow, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so one person was mean to her, but everyone else would never act like that today. So she got scared that ever occurred like that to others. I guess that was when I learned to distance myself from everyone else. I was scared to be myself. Tomoe chan! Aww, come on, it's okay. They didn't mean it. I don't know the details, but I doubt they meant any offense. Yeah. It's all right, Yuku. I know. Thinking back on it, it's only natural that she laughed. But thank you. I really appreciate it. So you realize that no one will ever laugh at you, but they laugh with you now today. <laughs> I, I, I'm weird. Let's us nerd weirdos stick together as always. I'm with you. Girl. I love manga. I watch TV at home all day. I just can't get out of my kotatsu. <laughs> I love reading Persona manga too! On my days off, I stay in my PJs, eat snacks, drop crumbs all over, and waste hours online checking my favorite sites! Let's say for most stuff once in a while. I eat snacks, but I never eat crumbs. I want certain TV things, not depending on that, man. Uh, I'm too scared to hold hands with a boy! I'm not good at talking to people, and I always spend New Year's on my own! I'm not good at talking to people either. See manga I like and I buy it! Then I realize I already have that volume, but oh well, you know. God, I'm awful. Uh, I don't know. Probably for a different reason. Uh, wait, uh, are you serious? <laughs> Buying two of the same manga? <laughs> I do that too! <laughs> Yukiko-san! Now is not a good time for that! What if this traumatizes Tomomine even more? For sure. I mean, who'd need to, right? <laughs> I think she's gonna be okay. Oh boy. So she's that type? Oh, and I thought one was tough enough to deal with. A show off type of funniness that'd be a good for nothing. But the good for nothing has a heart. Tommy's one of them. Tomoni's just herself. Uh, I think he just made a friend. Another friend. Yukiko and Tomoni son's laughter echoes throughout the room, and the rest of us just stand there, there, in, in amazement. Then suddenly a familiar beam of light descends on the spot a little away from us. The dressing room! She'll be safe in there with uh, Tamane and uh, the manager lady. There it is again. That same door we saw with Tamami san. Uh -huh. Is this the door to the dressing room at our office? How come it's here? Why don't we go inside? Uh, carefully. We don't know yet if it's safe inside. It is. Come this way, young lady. Just like I thought. It looks pretty much the same as last time. Yeah, 100% safe room. Yeah, you can't hear that song either, huh? <laughs> 
Oh my god, that song's annoying. <laughs> Imagine. Anyway, we should probably take a short rest. Rest time, you four. You deserve it. Let the other group handle it. We might have to see what's going on in Race Haven. That group in a bit. We've saved Tamami-san and Tomoe-san so far. I'm sure you're all feeling tired by now. I have a feeling. Whew! Don't mind if I do. This dancing stuff is really killing my legs, you know. And making me vomit. When I say working out, fine, but don't puke yourself to death over it. Everyone relaxes. Let's bring the attention ev ev away. I'm a little tired myself and take a seat in a nearby chair. With perfect time, Risa calls up with up with her persona. Senpai, are you okay to talk? Risa, yeah, we're good. We just saved Tomoe-san. Uh, huh? Oh no, I can't be going crazy. Nope. I, I can hear Risa-san's voice inside my head. And Yukun is talking back to her? Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> they can't help it. It is getting repetitive, though. <laughs> I know that Yukiko didn't mean anything by it, but she could probably afford to be a little more sensitive. I glanced at everyone explaining persona communication out of the corner of my eye as I focused on talking to Rise. How is it over there? Is everyone alright? Mm, we're having some issues. I gotta say, it is a bit rough without you guys. <laughs> hey, tell the others she said hi! By the way, about Miss Ochimizu. Ochimizu, what about her? Yeah. It seems like the shadows don't attack her for some reason. Wait, how do you know that, Senpai? We ran into her, too. Oh, I see what's going on. Jeez, she does whatever she wants, like always. <laughs> I mean, she's a black cat or just plain lucky human. What do you mean? It's nothing. Anyway, we've got some catching up to do. I'll fill you in once we meet up. All right, we'll be waiting. Bye, Senpai! <laughs> As I end the conversation, we say my friends finish up explaining to Tomoe-san, relax the conversation turning casual. As we are talking, Yukiko calls out to us, apparently noticing something in the makeup corner. Look, it's just like when we were with Tamami-san. Another diary note. Oh, not that again! And I was this close to putting it out of my mind! Well, you want me to smack your head until you have amnesia? I don't think so. Before even reaching Yukiko, we knew what she found. Just like with Tamai-san, a note. After making sure I have everyone's attention, I take a look at the at the contents. As I thought, the, although the actual text is different from the one in Tamai-san's room, it's pretty much a continuation. The morning glory won't bloom, no matter how hard I wish. I've already forgotten my true face. My love for music has grown cold. I'm scared to sing. Scared to get on the stage. Scared to face my fans' expectations. How would she feel if I left? I don't want to make her sad, but nothing can fill the void in my heart. Who is Yuka talking about? It's about herself? For someone close to her to end her life with suicide. This person's having some hard times. It's even worse than the last note. Yeah. Ghost or not, this is just plain scary. Could the culprit behind this really be a ghost? That idol who committed suicide. Mm -hmm. Even if that's possible, it's too soon to judge yet. If we could just figure out who wrote these, I wouldn't be as freaked out. Idol, suicide, morning glory, Calistasia? Calistasia? Do you know something about this tomorrow? Uh, what? What is that word anyway? Calistasia. It's another name for morning glory, but don't tell me. We all turned to tomoe -san at her sudden outburst. She was staring into space. As it trying to remember something, does she? Tomomine, you know what this note is about? N no, but it reminded me of something I heard when our appearance at LMB was finalized. A very popular idol who was with Takura Productions passed away a few years back. It was apparently big news back then. Yeah. Just before she died, she wrote one final song. Calistegia, a flower commonly known as Morning Glory. That's the name of the song. 
the mean of term of flower morning glory before Yukiko passed Yuko passed away? Yuko. Yuko. Don't mind me miss scrambling words in my mouth that I have trouble pronouncing. And that song Calistegia. That's the new song we're debuting at the LMB Fest. Whoa. An idol that belonged to Takara Productions, who has a connection with Kanamine Kitchen. It does match the profile we came up with. Uh, this conversation is going in a bad direction. Are you saying the culprit is seriously a, a, g a ghost? It's a g g g girl. Chie, breathe, relax. It's too early to jump to any conclusions. But yeah, things are starting to connect here. Yeah. No! That doesn't help a single bit! Drive a stake through my heart, why don't you? You're not a vampire. I called down a Roddy team and looked squarely at Tomoe-san. Oh, Redfield? Watch Redfield, it's really good. Whatever or not that idol is the culprit of this case, I think we need to get more information. Tomoe-san, do you know why that particular song was selected for Konami Kitchen? Ms. Ochimizu. Oh! Ms. Ochimizu? Ms. Ochimizu! Yes, it was her decision. Calistegia never saw the light of day. After what happened, its release was put on hold indefinitely. But Ms. Ochimizu said that'd be a key selling point. Oh, boy. Seriously? Tomoe-san, um, if you don't mind, can I ask you the name of the idol that passed away? Say it. Oh, yes. It's... Yuko Osada. Yuko Osada. Ochimizu. Ms. Ochimizu? Why are you here? Yuko's curse. The notion is so ridiculous, I'd expect to find it on the cover of a tabloid. You don't have to put it like that. How can you say that for sure? Mm. Having Kanamine Kitchen sing Yuko-san's song might be an effective marketing strategy. But it could well be thanks to you that they were thrown into this incident. I can see your position. In a place like this, it's easy to think some monster or ghost is responsible. However, it's impossible that this is Yuko's curse. It's flatly out of the question. Can you let this happen? You can't know that for sure. Yes, I do. And that's the end of the conversation. Tomoe, choose your words more carefully if you don't want to make a fool of yourself. See what chaos you've caused? Hey, she's trying. Uh, I'm sorry. How could you? No kidding. Miss Oshimi says that it was clearly aggravating. She and you can go. It is strange. Miss Oshimi does tend to speak aggressively, but this time feels different. Like a rush of emotion. Why is that? As I try to calm she and you can go down, I prop I ponder the I pounded the possibilities. I understand their feelings for trying to account of the actual victims here, and being worried for their safety makes us emotional. But attacking Ms. Ochimis is the wrong way to, to deal with it. We don't know what, no, know the extent of her connection here. Everyone, that's enough. We don't know if Ms. Ochimisu is even a part of this. I don't think she is. But, uh, likely a red herring thing. No, I apologize. I shouldn't have lashed out. Haggy apologizing, huh? Well, suppose. In any case, I'll take it from here. Tomoe, stay here with me until you've recovered. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. At Mr. Seuss's calm policy, she and you can come back to themselves. I know, you don't you don't want to blame Miss Oshimisu if it's not justified. Yosuke starts talking and trying to change the subject. So why are you here, Ms. Ochimizu? Is Tamamine okay? Yes, yeah, Tamamine, you good? Yes, I came after you. I figured if you saved another girl, she would need looking after. Like in Tamami's case. As for Tamami, she's fine. That room seemed pretty safe, and she's calmed herself down. Idols aren't that fragile. <laughs> what about the snails? I like that. I see. Thank you. Not bad. Anyway, you've successfully saved Tamami and Tomoe. So far, two down, two more to go. I'd like to thank you, but I think I'll wait until this whole mess is over. Probably for the best. We're looking forward to that. Let's get out of here together, all of us. 
Yes. I'm afraid I must leave that to you. Neither Tomoe nor I are of much use here. It's always like that. Every crisis I face, I'm made aware of my powerlessness. Go once you're ready. And play detective all you want. But that's quite enough throwing around baseless accusations. Okay. Mrs. Shimizu makes her final statement. Please, but I still have my doubts. Her powerful is this? Again, something in her words feels wrong. It sounds almost like self-description. Sorry for saying that wrong. And from that, I think there's a reason behind the way she speaks normally. Somehow, I can't take her a face value. Uh, I hate to say this, but I just can't seem to like her. Uh, for most circumstances and the situation going on, yeah. But in any case, we don't want her to kill here. The way she acts, I'd be surprised to find someone who does. Let's just hope she's not on her period right now. Ha! Ah, I have a feeling she has her reasons for it. Uh-huh. Anyway, let's hurry. We need to meet up with Risei's team and find a way out. Roger that. I'm sorry I made things awkward. I'll focus on solving the case. It's okay. Yeah, me too. Hey, I know you do too, Phil. Believe me. I'm really getting hungry, so let's just get this over with and figure out everything else once we get back home. Yeah, I plan Parmesan, please. <laughs> That's just like you, Chie. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Nobody would think of dinner at a time like this except for you know who. <laughs> Aw, sheesh, guys. I can't help it. I'm only human. Well, as long as you're okay, how to eat carefully, I think we can trust you on that. Everyone laughs as she is pouting, as usual. Yeah, we're fine, just like we're, we always are. After exchanging looks with my friends, who stood at my side throughout countless trials, we stepped towards the door. See you stay put, and on to Monday. We'll be back. Excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll stop here. Sorry. Eh, have it. All right, we'll be right back. And until next time, all you Persona fans out there, Persona 4, Dancing All Night. It's 4, Dancing All Night. So to the tongue, here I go again. We're back for more what happens ahead, and hopefully see Risa and the other team rescue those girls somehow. Reunite soon. It'll happen, but you know, patience!